eat your cookie? Wow. A protein cookie. Protein cookie? Mm-hmm. These mm -hmm. Really good. Welcome back for another adventure. We are currently out in the Gila National Forest, Gila Wilderness, and we are at the Scorpion Campgrounds. It's really rather windy if you can't tell from my awesome hair blowing everywhere. Ah, nice weather though. We had a little bit of rain on the drive up here, as you saw from the footage. <laughs> it stopped for now. I guess there's a cold front coming in and there's a 50-50 chance on if we'll get more rain or not. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But we set up camp. We're in the shade. Scorpion campground. There's an upper and a lower. It's a first come first serve type of area. Nothing too fancy, but it'll work since there's not too many campgrounds out here. We stopped by the Gila Hot Springs campground just, just to see, but there were no vacancies. All full. Oh well. Some nice wind, some fall colors. Not sure if we're gonna tool around too much today. Might just hang out at the campsite and tool around. Looks like if you go across the road, there it goes to the water in the creek. Maybe tool around there. And tomorrow, possibly go check out the Gila cliff dwellings and some trails and just play around. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, we went and explored a bit, followed the creek. There's a little trail, game trail across. You can go play in the creek. In the summer, I imagine it's really popular. And it would appear that we are literally just a hop skip away from the trailhead that goes to the cliff dwelling. So we don't have to drive anywhere tomorrow. We can just walk right there down the road. It's not far at all. But we went and tooled around over there to go see what they've got. And we now know for sure tomorrow we are hiking to the cliff dwellings. Came back, we had some snackage, played some phase 10, did some reading, and the wind has not died down. But it is starting to get a little, a little bit chillier. And thus, extra layers, and we now have a fire going. Josh is uh, learning how to be the cameraman, he, he offered. And the gimbal that we use, the Crane M2, is a little touchy. It's on a slow motion setting, but I don't think it's slow enough. I need an extra slow setting for really smooth pans. That's what I think, but I'm digging it. It's not in a very expensive little crane gimbal, and therefore it works. I loved it. I got it with my Christmas money last year, so I will use it as much as I possibly can, since I don't have a lot of money. 
Smoky, smoky. Eh. <coughs> I took an ash to the mouth. <coughs> well, we're just gonna hang out at camp, enjoy our toaster fire, cook ourselves some brats, and do whatever we want to do. Tomorrow, cliff dwellers. Oh yeah. Thoughts, sentiments, opinions, ideas. Still congested. The sun's right in my eyes. It's nice up here. The fire's warm. <laughs> Those are the immediate thoughts. <laughs> there you have it. The immediate thoughts from Josh. We are on the trail. We are headed to the Gila Cliff. <laughs> we are headed to the Gila Cliff dwellings. Uh, some. You said there was like 700 years old. 800. 800 year old cliff dwellings. Gonna go check them out. See how the people lived. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 600 something steps. 600 and something steps.
back from the cliff dwellings. Those are actually really neat. Like, very nifty. And surprisingly more intact than I figured they would be after I mean, many of years and people coming up to them. It's pretty cool. That view over the canyon from those windows. Oh, that must have been great living there. Just to wake up every morning and see that cliff, especially when the fall colors started changing. We've missed them, but I can only imagine that canyon was absolutely beautiful during that time of year. In the summer, you go up into the dwellings, it's nice and cool. Not so great. Probably in the winter, it might be cold since the dwellings are already cold, but they had fires. The view was very nice. And they had some pretty cool buildings. It's, it's always awesome to see the stuff that people made years and years and years ago, ahead of their time, basically. But they just lived off the land. Very beautiful land, that's for sure. Well, we've seen them. I th Don't get me wrong, the Bandelier National Monument in Santa Fe that has ruins up there is, is still cool. But I think these ruins, these cliff dwellings, are way better than the other ones. Only because there's more left of them, basically. There's not a whole lot left in Bandelier. But, you know. It's also much warmer today now than it was yesterday. That cold front came through and it left and it's gone now. We got some nice toasty sun. But we're back at camp. Killing some time. Gonna maybe go wander down the road. There's supposed to be a trail attached to the Lower Scorpion campgrounds. Might go check that out. And go wander through and try and get some photos of stuff while we uh, enjoy the rest of our day here. We'll see. Might eat lunch, play some card games, like always. We play a lot of card games. A lot of Phase 10 and Uno. We need to add some more games to our camping. We'll get there. But just enjoying the outdoors and the nature and the Gila wilderness. Yep, yep. <sighs> We're down here tooling around across from the campsite by the creek. <laughs> we got down here, my brilliant self, I remembered the GoPro, remembered the lenses for the camera and forgot the camera at the truck. Real brilliant move there. Had to go back up to the truck really quickly to ah, go get the camera, buddy, because, you know, the lenses are so useful without that. Oh, yeah. But back out. Got the camera. Got all the pieces now. Now we're just wandering through. It's kind of like a game trail slash mini path along the creek. And yeah. Get some shots, see what we can find while exploring. We launch the drone, do some stuff. Ooh, yeah.
We tooled around, followed the Gila River, and wandered down the road to get some more views. It's very peaceful and beautiful out here. Woo, it's tracking you, haha. <laughs> I can full heartedly see why the Native Americans chose to live in this valley slash canyon. I don't remember which one's the valley, which one's the canyon. Something differentiates that and I can't remember which is which. But <laughs> blanking on that right now. I'll ask my uncle, Uncle Chris later, he'll know. But <sighs> yeah, it's very peaceful out here. We'll have to come back for another trip at some point. Maybe at the top of fall, see all the colors and explore some more trails out here. But for now, we are headed back towards camp. We'll wind down for the night, eat our dinner, and then tomorrow morning we pack out. Oh yeah. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and follow along for more adventures because there will be more, as always. <laughs> And if you're ever curious about some of the places that we're going, go ahead and ask. I'll try to remember the trail names, try to remember the campgrounds as much as I can. You know, that way you have an idea where you're going. So, until the next one, you guys have a, oh, cattle guard, oh God. Can't film and walk across that at one time. Oh, that would've been bad. <laughs> until the next one, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later. evening meditations and thoughts, I came up with a haiku. I'm so congested. The view up here is nice. Please like and subscribe. I think that fits the 575. I'm not entirely sure, but...